Welcome back to Let's Play Overwatch, part three. I am Dasher the Viral. I'm Demon Rise. We started like instantly, so I'm still in the last match. So if you tuned in last time, I was playing, and I didn't do very well, but to be fair, I did uh, about as good as I did the last time I was playing as Junkrat. So I, on the plus side, I'm not getting any worse. In fact, I think I did better, because the last time I killed people as Junkrat, it was them alone. That other time I was saving my own fucking life and actually did kind of good, so that 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 surprised me. I could have done better. Well, uh, I know I could have done better. <laughs> There's a guaranteed I could have done better. I could have improved much, much more, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys can't even see me here, can you? <laughs> You literally can't see me here. You just see a hand coming out of fucking nowhere. Oh god, that's wonderful. It's fun being in the clusterfuck of wires. Yes, it is. Ah, I bet you that's what cyborgs feel like. <laughs> ah, he's talking about Ritalin. I know, I know that, I know that experience. It fucks you up for life. I'm a super dolder. Notice I've realized. Here I am trying to fucking stabilize this thing, right? And I have a giant fucking wooden board I could put it on. Do that afterwards. Well, yeah, actually. Good advice. We'll keep it uh, consistent for now. <laughs> I thought he said. Oh fuck! I thought he said groupie. <laughs> so who would you say your best character is? <laughs> like, who do you do the most? Who do you survive the best as? <laughs> Not soldier. Okay. Well, that's not the question I asked, though. <laughs> I would definitely have to say Reaper. Yeah. To be fair, you seem to do the best with Reaper and, uh, fuck. Can't remember the other person you always use. Hanzo. Yes, Hanzo. You do phenomenally as Hanzo. Like, considering how hard it is to hit people with that guy, you do a hundred times better than I imagine myself at my fucking peak. Because you guys saw me with that person right in front of me. I was trying to shoot inside of a hallway, and I had shitty aim right in front of me. So, using Hanzo, a long-ranged, accurate? No. I mean, I could snipe in Call of Duty, but that's only because other people snipe in Call of Duty, and they're too fucking stupid to know that other people snipe in Call of Duty. <laughs> I literally got a 27 to 3 because there were idiot snipers hiding in, uh, in Modern Warfare 3, the... The snow map with the two research labs on the opposite sides of there. I was... I literally kept going across into the, uh... The computer data room and the other weird... Kind of empty staircase room of the window. I kept swiping between those what with my the thermal... Why can't they hit you black? Well, wait a minute. Wait, I have a question. What? When you're using him, uh, holding it and just tapping quickly. Does that make a difference in the accuracy? Yes. Okay, good. So it is more like that. Because I didn't know that would make a difference. I thought it was like Halo. Like, early, early fucking... No, you see how my reticles are, like, tight? Oh, so when... shooting it like this? Oh, okay. So if you, if, you, if you tap fire, basically, burst fire. Yeah, if you burst fire, you're gonna be good. Okay, so that's what I wanted to know. Because now when I use this guy, I'll know how to use them better. Also, that missile doesn't have to hit them directly for it to do damage. No, but it's just better if you do hit them, hit them with it. Okay. Ooh, so the, I'm Because when I was using it, I didn't notice anyone getting hit, so I'm assuming the explosive area is kind of small? Yeah. Okay. So try to hit it as close to them as possible. Yep. I thought it was more like a grenade, so that's why I wasn't bothering to try and hit them right dead on. Nope, it's always best to hit them dead on. Well, I know that, just... Oh, holy fuck, that must have hurt. Oh, you have your, um, aimbot now. Yeah. What is that? Does that increase your damage at all, or does it make your bullets, like, follow into them? 
Uh, it increases my damage rate of fire a little bit. Oh, for fuck's sake, Black Widow or Widowmaker. God damn it. <laughs> Black Widow. Oh, I mean. <laughs> Round one. Well, good thing we only have five minutes. We have enough time for round two. I thought they were going to say game over, and I was like, you don't fucking know that. I wonder if anyone's actually gotten one of those in the hoop. Yeah. Wait, where'd you go? I'm <laughs> Die for your country! Time to kill. Or be <laughs> killed. Alrighty. And three, two, one. There you are. <laughs> that wasn't very long. So the best strategy in this game so far seems to be waggle the fucking joystick around and shoot wildly. <laughs> not, not wildly. You but like, I mean, try to hit them, but don't worry so much about being accurate. Wor worry more about avoiding their bullets. Yeah. Okay, then. Because I thought this was one of those games where, like, if they hit you with three or four bullets, you'll drop Shit. dead. Shit. That was one of those games where if you hit them with three or four bullets, they drop dead. I'm too used to fucking Battlefield and Call of Duty for this game. <laughs> This is more like Team Fortress, and be, to be fair, Team Fortress is fucking hard, and I've never really played it that much. I love how both, both tanks are like, I need healing. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe they want to be at full health for the best chance of saving everyone's ass. What the, what the I hell? I don't, man? oh, you locked onto them? No, I just fucked my aim up, and I'm gonna go jump at because I, I'm better with predictability rather than straightforward. Yep, that works. I mean, to be fair, I'm better with junk rap because I don't have to hit them dead on. Yeah, predictability instead of straightforward. I love how his explosives do no damage to him. Like, oh, they, like this one does. Well, yeah, but I mean the one that launches him. That's awesome. Oh, oh fuck! That was literally the. That was literally like just brushing up against the edge of death. And then meeting it head on <laughs> right afterwards. That was like you dodged the bus that almost ran you over, and they got crushed by it on its way back to the terminal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So an explosive, <laughs> but he lands from it. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> this guy's anatomy is fucked, or he has the weirdest pain sensors I've ever heard of. Hey, fuck off, with them, you fucking stupid cunt. Well, uh, on the plus side, you guys are holding this point, and they haven't even gotten a single fucking percentage. Yeah, I, there's that. It's just that Widowmaker is pissing me the fuck off, and of course someone else is on there. Well, the round's almost over, and you guys have won, so... Like, I guarantee you guys have won. You're 99%, you're in overtime, there's no fucking way they're gonna get this. And there we go! Victory! Diva, you're such a dumb fuck. I wonder who got the best? Please let me you. No, <laughs> somehow. definitely not me. I <laughs> fucking did terribly. I was hoping I'd just choose you, so... Like, literally, I, got, I only got six fucking eliminations. You know what I always wondered? What? What would it be like if nobody got a really good kill? And then, like, the play of the game was just some guy falling off a fucking cliff? <laughs> it's because I couldn't find anybody. <laughs> It's like, well, we'll just get the guy with the most points. Well, Whee! if you want something like that, it's fucking Torbjorn's your guy. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back for part four.